Hello guys, good day! I'm back again for another tutorial. So our tutorial for today is on how to configure and install the build ban on our server, especially on our Vichidial server. Uh, for now, we're going to install on my CentOS 8 server uh, on how to basic and basic settings for fail ban and installation. Okay, so once again, if you like my video, can you please like, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell so that you're always updated on our latest video. Okay, guys, so uh, this is the failed ban. So it, failed ban, it will help us to uh, reduce the brute force, force attack on our server, especially on SSH, uh, zip port, and other ports. So for today, we're going to install and enable some uh, the two ports that is the SSH and the uh, uh, zip port. Okay, so this is the build ban. So we can check here some uh, not too much. Uh, let me check the manual requirements. Okay, so I just check this manual. So we need an IP table. Okay. okay, so you need to log into your. This is my uh, putty, so you need to be going to start the installation. So to do I so? This is my VC dial server. So, as you can see, so as you can see, I have some attacks here. Okay. So, it's trying to uh, register and log in. So, we need to protect our server for this kind of people who are trying to hack our server and then make some suspicious call so it will it will charge you a lot on your POIP providers okay so uh, still having that kind of attack. so because I have that attack because I try to open all the ports right now on on the server so that we can uh, we can check and see the so as you can see my asterisk is going to uh, lock or what is this uh, crash because of the a lot of uh, trying to register or they broach my server so from here we need to wait a few let's uh as you can see still having some attack from this side so if you want we can manually we can manually block but look the attack it's way worse not now so we can exit this one so my asterisk is still going so to install the build band so we need to uh, yang install we need to install the epl okay uh, epl dash release Uh, I think because of that attack, my servers can be slow. This is a test server that uh, do some tutorials. So, 
so I try to open to check and see what will happen on the server but I, I just remove all the BOIP accounts connected already so uh, this is the issue once you own your own NATA so your server take, taking down so and your server slow or is gonna slow as you can see it's my I trying to install only this but my server uh, is, is very slow to response so we need to wait until the installation for uh, evil it's uh, finished so it's very important to protect our server so that we we did not cost more especially on BOIP okay so after that uh, you need to do the yum install yum y install fail to buy but maybe due to that upper still on okay so after that we can check the service Failed to ban status. So failed failed ban is not yet running. So to to start the failed ban, you can do service or system control start. Then failed to ban. Okay, and then to enable it uh, on startup, you need to enter this enable. So our ban now is enabled and once you reboot and field one is running so if I fill to ban client is touched so they have no active jail right now okay so we're going to start to uh, the configuration so to check the field one configuration or files you need to go to uh, change directory on the first here so you need to cd or change directory slash h file and then fail one okay so if you look the inside the directory you can do the ls Okay, so this is the available uh, file that that or config on the Paleband folder. So this is the Paleband.com and this is the Jill.com. This or oh, we can modify this one, but it's not uh, actually. Uh, we can use this one to enable some Jill or some. Uh, blocking or enable and the filter the, the applications or like the SSH script or the all here so 
we want to check, we can do CD again, filter, then LS. So, this is the available that can be banned <coughs> using the file work. Example the asterisk so you can enable the asterisk and SSHD for now. Okay, so we're gonna go back to the other page. So from here you need to because we cannot it's not advisable to use the main uh, configuration here. So we can copy this the jail.com to jail.local. Okay, so you have now two files. So, you have jail.com and jail.local. Okay? So, and now, to enable the uh, blocking or the firewall, the blocking some the modules or the application installed, so you need to modify the jail.com, not the, um, the jail.local, not the uh, jail.com. Okay? So, jail that local. <coughs> so, from here, you can under the default, this is the default. Okay? Under the default, uh, you can uncomment some here. From here, you can add, ignore your IP. For example, your uh, agent IP or client IP, you can put here in, in, on the ignore list. Because if, if one of the agent mistake, uh, or trying to register their zip account but they miss the password it will be tapped out so all the all the department and they are using the VC dial they cannot able to access okay so this is the band time right now you can change change this if you want to one hour 60 minutes and find time how many <clears throat> how many days or also if you want to one hour two days one month one year or forever and how many try they can they that will be banned okay if they exceed to five it will automatically ban back in auto warm okay. Okay, that's all. If you want to set up an email, so you can do, you can configure that email. Okay, now we're going to enable some filter or the SSH and the ASTEX. So from here, as you can see, we have SSH here. So to enable this one, just type enable. Just type the enable and then set to talk. Okay. And also we got gonna look for asterisk. It's been slow due to that. Asterisk. Asterisk. Okay, this is the asterisk. You can put the enable, then enable, then true. Okay, so if you can add some ports also here. So right now, 5060, or if you have uh, modified some ports in your account, you can add also. The max retry because this is uh, very important. I just put on it. Okay, so after that, you can save now the configuration using the control O and then enter to save, control X to exit, 
and then you can now restart the firewall the system control restart fail to buy okay fail to buy so and then we can check the status fail to ban client status So, as you can see, I have now two jail. So, it means we have asterisk and SSH. So, to check the uh, status, like the status asterisk. Wow. So, as you can see, we have a lot of message or field accounts. So, currently, we have Field 21. Total field 5,263. This is very huge. So, you need to protect your server. Currently band 3 and total band is 4. Okay, so <clears throat> if you want to unband, you, you can uh, do the manually un unband. So, uh, just use fill to ban client and then set asterisk unban IP unban IP then you can put the IP that you want to unban okay and also to check the logs you can go to You can go to till f slash bar. So this the, the f is will continue uh, open the log. Okay. Log fill to ban. Okay, then enter. So we can see the real time log also. Low, but we have as you can see uh, we have a uh, band IP here so notice the one band but I unband this guy, this IP <laughs> okay so you can see So we have also an SSH band. Okay. So uh, this is the video for now. So once again, guys, thank you again for uh, supporting me on my channel. So uh, if you like my video, can you please like, share, and subscribe so that you always updated on my latest video. Okay, so we have successfully installed and configured the basic settings on how to protect your VC dial server or regarding the bridge ports attack, especially on SSH and the asterisk. So, okay, so once again, this is HVD tutorial and thank you, thank you for supporting my channel and uh, more videos uh, to come okay so thank you guys and have a nice day so we have successfully installed our fail to ban client on our CentOS 8 server with which dial installed okay guys so thank you and have a nice day so